the question still remains, if Jesus was sinless, why, why, why did he need to be baptized? Because John the Baptist, was he perfect, performing the baptism of atonement, of remission from sin? What was the reason he was baptizing? Okay, let me read for you from the book of Mark, yes? So you got the Bible on you, you can open it if you want. So in Mark uh, 4, sorry, Mark 1, verse number 4, it says, And so John the Baptist appeared in the wilderness, preaching a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. Jesus, did he require repentance or forgiveness from sins? Repentance or forgiveness from sins, forgiveness of sins. Repentance or forgiveness of sins. He was sinless. Come on, think about it. He was sinless. Someone who is sinless doesn't need to repent. Someone who is sinless doesn't need forgiveness. We came here to ask yeah. if these guys can get baptized or not. I'm, I'm ask them. How much did he offer you? He said five thousand. Give me a thousand. Okay, I'll give you a thousand. And, and he agreed to a thousand. Next week, yeah. I'll bring a thousand pounds for the first one. <laughs> the first one who wants to get baptized, I will, I will give him something, a thousand pounds, and we will go to my house and baptize him. What if they refuse? What would you say then? To refuse to get baptized. Yes. You're what? not getting the thousand pounds. <laughs> Is that it? Mean, Is that it? Or you're going to tell them like you told Mansoor, you're afraid. Yeah, he said that was. He no, said they're afraid because they, they don't want to do it. There, okay. There's no rational way. I'll tell you what, say the Shahada. No, say, say there is no God except Allah. I don't believe that. You're afraid? No. You're afraid? No, yes. Not, you know, not, we can use the same argument. No, no, I'm not. No, no, you're afraid? No. I think this is desperation from Christians today no. where they have to offer money or offer bread no, for people to come into their religion. No, no. And this has happened practically in many poor countries, you know? No, no, like if you go no, to Bangladesh or India or even Pakistan, they no, offer you money. I think even in many African countries, they offer you money. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I'm they might under, under false, uh, what do you say, pretext, like we'll give you education, we'll give you, you know, there are many so-called English, okay. uh, what do you say, English tutors who go around saying we will teach you English when their entire intention is to convert them to Christianity. And I've come across many people I, like I, that. I, I in Malaysia, in Indonesia, okay, they are know, all over the world. I don't know what we talk about, yes. but I don't know. Maybe you should go and okay, look up, sincerely. No, no, I do, I do, carry on. Okay, the main difference, the main difference, the main difference is you ask me to say something I don't believe in. And I'm not asking you to do something you don't believe in. You just ask, you believe that it's, that it's just about. No, no, who told you that? Who told you Muslims okay. believe baptism is just about? All, all of this. Why didn't you ask me? Okay, my question is, what will happen if I baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? You're gonna go to hell or what, what's gonna happen? Yes, it is considered a shirk. Shirk is associating partners with Allah. So your your baptism no, until it's not. can I can I answer if you ask me a question? What is shirk? Shirk is where you claim no. that someone other than the only true God is God. So you associate partners with God, like the way the Christians do. You believe Jesus is the Son of God and God. He's a co-equal to God. So when you start making other false gods as co-equal to God, that is the biggest sin in Islam. So if I said in the name of Allah, yeah. yes who is the only true God, yeah. yes, that there is no other God except Allah, yes, and Jesus is not God, and Jesus is not the Son of God, will you let me pray in that name? You pray, say whatever you want, because it, it doesn't affect me. Allah doesn't exist for, in the first place, so tell, tell whatever you want. Okay, why did then Paul say not to eat the, the food given to the idols? I'm not eating any food from you. I didn't say you are. I said, why? If, if it doesn't matter, you eating food which is sacrificed in the name of false gods. Yes? Yeah. If it doesn't matter, then why did Paul refuse it? Well, I don't know, to be honest. That's a good question. Yeah. I can, I can check that. It was either Paul or somebody else. Anyway, it is okay. in the, it's okay. in the Bible. Okay. The, question is, the question is, if it was insignificant about these things, then the Bible wouldn't say it is forbidden for you to do so. You see what I mean? So things which are symbolic, but they represent your God, which you're trying to then say, oh, this person, for him it doesn't matter. Actually, so for him it does matter. Okay, so you acknowledge <laughs> that baptism is something, that it has, it carries... It is a religious no, no, you're, ritual. Okay, so there's something in there. It carries some some kind of, of thing from the Father and the Son and the Holy yeah. Spirit, right? It's in the name of false gods. 
It's very clear, my friend. I don't know why you don't understand it. But even if you like, just like the way you're not supposed to eat food, sacrifice in the name of false idols. Similarly, I cannot be baptized in the name of false gods. But you don't have to believe. Just like you don't have to believe these idols. But, the but even is, then, the Bible says you shouldn't eat the uh, the uh, the food that is sacrificed to the false idols. I love that. Even John the Baptist, whose name did he baptize in? I don't know. Not in the Trinity, right? I don't know. Because the Trinity is not in the Bible. Yeah, I know. The Father, Son and Holy Ghost are one, it's not in the Bible. Yeah, it I came know. in the 4th century. Yeah, I know.